Hey guys, welcome to tree. So we're gonna move through two different variations of tree. I want you to find whichever one is right for your level of stability in the body, okay? So level one, you're gonna start in mountain pose, yeah? Feet hip width distance, find stability through that equal distribution along the bottom of the foot. Then gently shift weight to one side, take that opposite foot, and you're gonna place the toes just to the outside of the heel and place that heel just on the lower part of the ankle, wherever it is that it lands. Now you can bring hands together at the heart, you can sweep them overhead, you can leave them on the hips, wherever feels comfortable and beneficial for you. If you feel like this is as far as you want to go, but you wanna add a little bit of challenge, I want you to mentally draw attention to the, the mound of the big toe, drive weight through it, and then close the eyes. So you can stand here, you can challenge balance, but maybe not risk too much stability. Okay, now if you feel like that's too easy, even with the eyes closed, let's graduate to the next level of tree. You're gonna take that foot that's on the outside edge of the opposite leg, and you're gonna bring it up somewhere above the knee. Okay, now you don't have to place it on the thigh. You can place it on the calf. You can place it just sort of directly above the knee, but you never wanna place the foot directly on the joint. Okay, so wherever it is that you place that foot, I want you to imagine that you are standing on the ground, right? So this foot isn't sort of lightly placed. There's effort drawing thigh and foot together, sort of from both sides. That's what creates that stability. Again, draw your attention to the mound of the big toe. Let yourself drive weight through it. And also, hands can be wherever you'd like them to be, wherever feels like that nice line between challenge and stability. Welcome to tree. <laughs>